just get from my house. Check out the man. Focus. Large and in charge. What's up, Michael? What's up, hot? Little daily update. My man Edwin, what's up, baby? Dragonfly 619. Yeah, man, we're uh, making good progress here on the Dream Machine 1.0. Show you guys a little bit of the updates in a second here. But right now, what's up, Jonathan? Kelly is. Uh... Kelly, why don't you talk us through what you're doing? I'm actually recessing the piano hinge on the decking to go flush with the with the hinge material the piano to drop drop in and go flush with the actual deck and then when the deck when the uh, C deck goes on top there won't be any rollover or any perfections or anything um, uh, mirroring through like a step down or what have you it'll all be flush and clean except right now I got to make a fine adjustment on this dimension here <clears throat> please get Kelly in more videos we're trying but the internet can only handle so much popo. I can cook. <laughs> I, got, I, I can do a cooking class. Bass uh, Bay, right? We're going to do oh some salt sprinkles. Everybody wants me at Super Bowl party Sundays now. They want me to bring all the appetizers. All my... <laughs> yeah. I mean... Dave, are you one of these people? <laughs> hey. Bacon wrap avocado... Bacon wrap uh, jalapeno poppers. <laughs> or bacon wrap avocado... <laughs> Oh man! Oh, my my three castle cheese dip, salsa verde chili. That's a whole nother show. I don't even want to go there. Not Ranger go there. Ray, come on. <laughs> uh, you getting me now? I gotta get back. To, I gotta get All back. Right. Yeah, go back. To, we got other things to do here. And performance tackle. Hey, shout out to Say Mark. Say hey, hi to the boys out there. Hey, Joe, get back to work. <laughs> Get that cheeseburger. That's you, Joe Gata. Get your cheeseburger. I get that cheeseburger out of your hand. The hair is on point, though, Kelly. You guys are enjoying the uh, the build. Kirby, Cody Martin, what's going on? We just took off the back deck here, made some adjustments for the plumbing. Got the uh, bilge pump intake for the live well, all that good stuff. And here's an update. We have a mock-up of the battery charging tray that's going to sit there so it's elevated up off the deck for any potential water. Alright, so that's going to be fabricated out of uh, aluminum angle and aluminum sheet stock. But you see the gist of how it's going to sit there, tucked up out of the way. All right, we've got a perco switch we still need to install. Inline circuit breaker. Alex Cox. Uh, for now, uh, we are going to do a three battery system. As you can see here, the trolling motor is indeed a 24 volt trolling motor. So we need two, two trolling motors to run the trolling motor. I'm sorry, two batteries to run the trolling motor. All right, and another battery to power the Garmin, the nav lights, the Hydra Wave, the LED lights we're putting on the deck, uh, the bilge pumps, all that good stuff. This is a 14-foot Gregor, guys. And yeah. Well, Caton, uh, you know, it just depends what you're looking for in a trolling motor. Uh, I went ultimately went with a Minn Kota. Riptide Altera and let me break it break it down to what brought me to this decision here So obviously a saltwater trolling motor was first and foremost I plan on taking this thing inshore and fishing the local bays and Federal brick wall that kind of good stuff. So number one needed a saltwater motor so that hence the riptide Okay, and initially I was it's about five feet at its widest point Armando initially I was just going to go with an old school um, tiller style motor, right? You just grab it and actually have to manipulate it by hand. But then I was like, man, that's a pain in the butt. So let's go with the foot pedal. Then once you get to the foot pedal models, you know, you're looking at like something like a Tarova. And the Tarova is like you got to manually deploy. 
It's kind of a pain in the butt from my experience, honestly. And I had an Altera on my fiberglass dream machine prior to the Ultrex because I foresaw the power of spot lock technology before it became real popular. So I was like, you know what, let's just go back with the Altera. Yeah, let me uh, right there. Jonathan, yes, we are uh, spraying insulating and flotation foam uh, in this thing and some of the dead space to offset the extra weight we put on here. All right, so the point I made earlier to the guys on Instagram was like, yeah, we are going above my initial budget to build this project, but at the end of the day, the worst feeling for me is when I spend a good amount of money and I still don't have what I want ultimately. And all I had to do is just spend a little bit more. So I just got to go work a little bit harder to make that up. So that's the uh, train of thought on why we chose Riptide Altera. It is an 80 pound thrust with a 54 inch shaft. And that is pretty much the smallest, most compact package available. All right, so that's going to auto and self-deploy. It's going to be nice to be able to launch this thing solo. Literally just dump it off the Pacific trailer. It'll float off, and with the remote, I can deploy it, hit the spot lock, go park my rig, come right back, and remote control it right back to me on the dock, and I'm out fishing. No tying up, no extra, you know, all that dead time. Blah, blah, blah. And as you can see here, we have... My brand new Garmin Echo Map Plus. Nine inch screen. This is an all in one unit. You got down view, side view. I can create my own custom charts. What's, what's up, Carlos? This is about a, oh, I'll get you, I'll get you the uh, dimensions, man. But you know, it's about five feet at the widest in the back of the beam there. So you got, what, maybe another eight to 10 inches max on both sides. So the whole thing is pretty narrow. All right. Yeah, sorry about that, Dave. The signal here in Costa Mesa blows, by the way. It does. What is up with that? We're in the middle of the freaking city and we can't get a signal. People are I have trouble here. That's crazy. But let's bring it around. Got my man Dave, the master wood craftsman, sealing Put this a joint. Fiberglass support where the joint is. Oh. So we don't want that to crack loose later on. Once it's screwed down, it'll be good. But we're going to take it up, and we want it to be in the exact same place when the C deck comes, so the C deck fits it. Then it'll all be good. That's the last time it'll come up. This next time to seal it, and then it'll go down for good. Yeah. That's what's up. Excellent question, Alex. Uh, yes, there's always concerns for quagga muscle inspection. So that's why everything has got to be accessible. We've got piano hinges built into every compartment for easy access. I can get in there. But honestly, clean, keeping an aluminum boat is dry is a lot easier than the tight spaces in and around my fiberglass boat. So that shouldn't be a, a big of a deal. There's their, their custom live well. Um, and Dragonfly, you know, looks like I'm making the switch this year. We're going all Garmin, baby. Live scope technology is for real. So that's a nine inch screen. And the nine inch screen gives me a nice, uh, nice viewing area to be able to display the down, the down view, the side view, and the topographical maps all at once because that is that suits my style of fishing well dragonfly 619 i don't know if you noticed man but i like having the best stuff so that's all i'm gonna say on that so garmin units it will be there's a nine inch there as you can see this is about where i'll be standing when i'm casting a big bait or a finesse rig whatever it may be i'll be able to see my views at just a glance, and that's really important to me. So, there's a little mock-up made out of just some particle board. So we made a template to close off the bow compartment there. That will be uh, sheet aluminum, just kind of like what the uh, trolling motor and graph are mounted on, supported by some angle brackets behind it, so it'll be super solid and closed off. 
All right, we've got a six panel switch here that'll control all of my uh, navigation lights, bilge pump, uh, pump in and out for the live well, and then uh, LED lights. And I got one more spot, so it might be something fun like a horn. <laughs> uh, Carlos, we have a couple different options here on mounting the transducer. So ultimately, I do want to mount the transducer for this unit on the head of this trolling motor. So stay tuned. We are going to uh, be figuring out some kind of solution to mount not only the transducer for the down view and side side view for the Garmin, but also the Hydrowave speaker and the Panoptics Live Scope, the game changer. So we got to get kind of creative here to get around the self deploy and stow style of shaft here. So that's going to take some uh, critical thinking on our part. We'll see. We'll see what we come up with. But here, let me uh, get up here. Why not start your own line of boats, he says. Uh, Martin, dude, this... If I had to pay these dude for their labor on top of the material costs, this would be an astronomical aluminum boat, which it already is. This is the bit, this is the bit that I have. But this is a Gregor. 14-foot Gregor. All right. Yeah, the big bass armada. You know it. Boosted bassing. I will be back at Clear Lake at some point this year. TJ, I'll get you on the hydrowave, homie. Hit me up later, bro. I know where you can. I know where you can get one. What's up, Buckeye Bassin? Thank you guys for joining us today. I know it's not ideal production-wise, but frankly, we've been so busy that this is really the most efficient way for us to keep you guys updated on the build because between shooting it and then editing it takes hours and hours and hours when I can just jump on a live stream kind of give you guys the updates as we go along hopefully this uh, continues to work for you guys so yeah this is uh, the Dream Machine 1.0 guys this is kind of uh, going back in time and paying homage to my very first boat experience but this time around we're doing it right in every way shape possible here with the help of these two guys Let's see what else you guys want to know. I'm trying to keep up. No, we are not wrapping this rig. Mr. Cox got to keep it somewhat reasonable. Um, 110 colors, man. Pick one you like, bro. <laughs> they pretty much all work. If you're looking for some insight on color uh, profiles, man, we got a lot of that discussion on my Patreon page. Uh, DeForest, I do not have any plans to fish Oklahoma in 2019 as of right now, but things can change. You never know. Armando, yes, uh, we are contemplating what to do with the color scheme on both the exterior and interior of the throwback dream machine. Oh man, a little one-on-one -on -one action. Well, I'm a little out of it right now. Look how fat my pinky is i dislocated it hooping about eight days ago and it still hasn't fully healed don't get old people and we are not wrapping this boat i would like to have a jet boat one more cast but i'm not much of a river or skinny water guy i'm comfortable in the reservoirs and we got bigger fish in them all right let's, let's check in here with what these guys got Oh, you're oh. So he's working on the recess there for the that piano. Heavier What's that? that blade's heavier. It's cutting heavier, but that's not going to be too. That's easy that's fine. Do. There's, I would go right there. Yeah, Victor, we got we got to come up on the uh, Honda motor, so that's what we ended up going with. This is actually the same style motor that I had on the very first boat. Kind of why I picked it. Fifteen horses. And at the time when I built my first one, I was really concerned about getting on a couple of our reservoirs, which are like a low emission only reservoirs. That's Diamond Valley and Lake Skinner. 
So the older two-stroke motors would not have been allowed. So this is a big part of me being able to access and fish both of those lakes. And I kind of got this on a good deal. Got to be frugal where you can. Yep, one little overview here. We're going to finish uh, treating the wood. We got some storms coming in, so between now and when the custom sea deck comes back to us, uh, it's going to need some protection from the elements. Some graffiti on it would be kind of cool. What's up, Rod? Yeah, we might take it to the river, man. Some big red ear that need to be caught, bro. Big red ear dreams. Martin, honestly, we are probably two to three full work days away from being able to launch her on the water. Waiting on a fuel line assembly so we can connect it to the gas tank. It's got a pretty unique uh, fuel line that you just can't find at a local marine parts store. This is a little three gallon gas tank that's gonna fit right there in that corner. And uh, yeah, we're not, you know, I ran a six gallon tank in the first boat and I maybe remember filling it up twice the entire time I had it. So uh, a big tank really isn't necessary. Where's the maiden voyage? Man, it's gotta be the pud. It's gotta be. So yeah, look for this thing to, uh, be floating on old Benelli Park Pudding Stone Lake Reservoir somewhat, somewhat soon. So, anyways, I'm super pumped, guys, to get this thing on the water. Uh, what started as a, you know a little tribute project to the early humble beginnings days has really uh, taken a life of its own. <laughs> I mean, between the graph, that Garmin unit, the live scope, that's 2,500 bucks. That trolling motor, which I was initially going to spend like a $300 budget, turned into $2,500. bucks. Uh, it's crazy. But yeah, the two-man crew, these guys are the real MVPs. These guys have the... Uh, you said blue man? Yeah, the blue man crew. Blue man, huh? I heard that. Blue, man. <laughs> blue hair. We should put some blue dye in that here and see what happens. But anyways... Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned for more updates as we progress here. We'll get some uh, some more polyurethane on top of this wood. Get it one step closer. It'll be a couple weeks until the custom sea deck we spent all day laying out yesterday comes and really adds a, a nice finishing touch to the project. So thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Rich. Mr. Sh Mr. Sean Rich. Thanks to everybody that's taking your time out of your day. Please like, subscribe, hoobity boo blah. Say hi, Kelly. Say bye, Kelly. Uh oh, what are we showing him here? Like, he wants to show off to you guys. He's feeling himself right now. Well, this is what you started the video with. That's Just, right. So there it is. What? Look at that. There it is, guys. So See? it won't be raised above the sea deck. So anymore. it's flush now. Dope. Sea deck goes right to the to the actual piano hinge barrel. It's clean. Very cool. Very beautiful. Clean, 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 clean. It's like clean. Kelly's game at West Marine earlier. Clean. The register chick was like, hey, is that your dad? He's good looking. And that's a quote. Verbatim. All right, guys. Back to work. You guys have a good evening.